Hello, today you are here with Kim Oliver, me, <laughs> and we are going to be doing the bokeh effect. Uh, I had a little bit of a play yesterday and I did try and video it for you all, but it was really terribly out of focus, so I'm redoing today. These are the cards that I made yesterday. We have a little hello and we have the little moments matter with you from Watercolour Wings and a happy birthday. Now these have all been done in colours. Uh, we've got Elegant Eat Plant, Blushing Bride, Sweet Sugar Plum and Wisteria Wonder. Now hopefully, if I can get that to focus, yeah, I think it's because of the effect on the paper that the camera has trouble focusing. I really do and I do apologise um, if that is out of focus, but I'll take that away and put it off to the side. And these were done with um, Helping Me Grow, the two flowers from Helping Me Grow. And these were made with the, e -e -e, let me think, no, where did I put that? Oh, I'll think of the name of it later anyway. And I'll just put these off to the side as well. And because I've done one lot in the colours that I mentioned a while ago, I'm going to do today's colours a little bit different. We're going to do, yes, Blushing Bride, Watermelon Wonder, and Flirty Flamingo with our Whisper White. We're going to need a dauber, a sponge dauber, and sponges. Now I've cut my sponge down into little triangles. That just makes the process a whole lot easier and makes the one sponge go further. And they are washable, by the way, in case you didn't know. Here are some that are actually drying. That They do stain, but the stain, the colour, does not come off in any way once it's washed. So that's good to know if you didn't already. As I mentioned, they're actually drying. So to start with, you'll need a piece of A4 cut in half, like so. I'll put that off to the side. I'll put my colours over here. We'll start with our darkest colour first, the Watermelon Wonder, and then we'll work backwards from there. Now, everything's done in a circular motion. All our colour is applied in a circular motion. Now, if I can, I'm going to try and work out how to speed up part of this video so you don't have to listen to me talking and it all goes a little bit quicker. And hopefully, I can get it to stay in focus. So I will check about halfway through if I don't get it to be able to fast forward for you all. Now, i put my ink in the lid. Spreading it around nicely. And this is all random. You just randomly do colours in spots.
awesome if I do say so myself. What is that saying? Self praise is no recommendation. Sorry guys, I've been praising myself a bit here, haven't I? I'm just so happy with how that has turned out. And the sun's coming back out now. Can you see that behind me? The light's changing. All right. Cleaning my fingers on my wipe. Believe it or not, I don't know how, but I always manage to get white all over my finger, even though it's inside here. It's amazing. And if you look in there, there's no way white can get on my finger. It's a mystery. Total mystery. Anywho, I'm going to switch the camera off now. Thank you very much for staying with me. I will um, cut some card paper, uh, card stock, and I'll come back and make a quick card just to show you one of the cards that I made. Okay. Okay, I've got a couple of things cut ready. I've got my card base that has been cut at 14.9, uh, which is nearly 15, by 10.5. The uh, bouquet has been cut at 9.5 by 14.2. And the layer underneath, which has been done in Watermelon Wonder, has been cut at 14.5 I 10.1 if you want to be precise and this has had dimensionals attached because that's going to sit up raise up and that's going to sit there and I think today I might make it just a little bit different I don't like doing cards identical I mean the colors different but I like positioning things different and so handmade that's what handmade's all about for me anyway Everything's just a little bit different, even stamping. Now, the layers for the butterfly have been done in Blushing Bright, Hi. Crushed Curry, Flirty Flamingo, and then Watermelon Wonder, the very last. And for this one, I've just added a, a little cutout. And it's from the Bold Butterflies Framelits here. 